So a while back we did a trailer reaction for Compulsion, and uh, I think at that time we mentioned it was titillating, yeah, for lack of a better word. So, the question remains, after watching it, was it arousing? Okay, gotta warn everybody up front, this is gonna be a spoiler-filled review, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, go check it out, come on back. All right, you're here. Joining me, my main man Cthulhu, is gonna be hanging out for this one as well. So, what is this about? Well, um, basically, a woman who appears to be some sort of erotic fiction writer, um, gets lured by his ex-boyfriend into going up to a villa to engage in... I don't know. She doesn't know? Who knows? Oh, we start off with likes and, um, wow. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> there was uh, definitely some very powerful imagery in the movie. In fact, we commented on that in the trailer reaction. There was a, a couple of shots that was like, wow, okay, you know, what is going on here? Uh, you know, a woman suspending bleeding and everything else. Uh, sadly, it didn't really have much to do. It was kind of just that, boom, you know, imagery, shots. So those were, those were truly spectacular. Uh, the location was amazing wherever they shot it. Um, these are very superfluous things, however, and that takes us right into the dislikes. And we go into the dislikes. Okay, so, um, wow. Yeah, this one was tough because um, it was kind of a, a nothing in the capacity of, um, you know, a woman goes off to villa, engages in, you know, sexual play, and then, you know, gets wrapped up in some sort of cultish murder thing has been done to death. Um, nothing new on the table here. Um, you know, beautiful scenery, like I said, and the likes, but that's kind of about it. The second one, um, and this one is really kind of hard to explain, um, because it's more of just kind of a, an impression. Um, I think there's no technical merit, but somehow, um, they made the sex scenes, uh, specifically, you know, the, 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 the girl and girl sex scenes, not that sexy. And that's saying something. I mean, you gotta go out of your way to do that. Be, you know, with me anyways. I mean, come on, it's like, not so hot. How can that not be? I mean, the, the women were attractive in it, you know? But I guess, you know, the way it was shot, the way it was edited, the way, you know, it was cut. Um, uh, the first one was, was decent, I suppose. Um, you know, maybe a little lacking in, in enthusiasm and, and believability. Um, the second one really fell flat and it was almost kind of like, um, you know, the situation when you're in the movie and you're just like, oh, yeah, I know what's coming up. You know, that could be the jump scare, it could be the big kill. This was the, the you know, lesbian sex scene. Like, they just, you knew that they were just going to go to that for, for no apparent reason, and it just didn't work. And then, for a movie that's supposed to be all kind of, you know, about this and wrapped up in it, and he's having a big sex party, blah, blah, blah. It was a lot of sex. Like... Those two scenes was pretty much it. There's an opening scene with her and a guy. Um, again, like, I don't know, this movie didn't seem to really be willing to commit to one thing or the other. If you're going to be horror, you know, commit to it instead of having a couple of nice, just, shots. If you're going to be, you know, sex movie, commit to it. Duh. I'm not saying it's hardcore porn, but I'm saying, you know, sh shoot the scenes differently. Shoot more, edit it, you know, whatever it takes. But commit to one or the other. This just kind of seemed like, in, and it's a strange choice of words, but it's almost like they were playing it safe in this R-rated, you know, uh, mystery, horror, murder, sex movie. And that that's absolutely mind-boggling that I would ever attribute the word safe to that description. But that, that's kind of what I'm going to have to do here. Um, you know, again, it's like I can't sit here and say that the, the acting was bad and the cinematography. All you know, all that was fine. It was all great, but it just on the overall big picture sort of thing. You're just going, how are you making this not that sexy? How are you making this not that mysterious? Not that horrific? Uh, and I think it was just because they weren't willing to commit to. And you don't have to do, commit to all of them. You could commit to one of them or whatever else. Um, so again, it was more of an overarching, oh, I'm sorry, I could do it. did I hit you? Did you? Please, do not kill me, while well, I'm asking. Um, you know, but then, again, that was it. Uh, you know, overarching lack of commitment. 
All right, it is pinhead time. And um, obviously, you know, I didn't have a lot of good. I had a lot, a lot of bad. Um, but I will say this. Two hot checks getting it on, even when it's shot not well, edited not well, still gets at least one pinhead in my book. So this is going to be a one pinhead movie. Well, what did you guys think? Please let me know in the comments section below. Maybe you had a different take on it. Um, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I gotta say, Cthulhu, you were rather quiet through that whole thing. What's the matter? Was it not compelling?